Everyone said the road was impossible. Everyone said not in our lifetime. Everyone said the battle was unwinnable. Only KCR believed and made it possible. And how? Despite decades of marginalization, within the combined state of Andhra Pradesh. The people of Telangana never backed down. They fought for their identity, for equal rights, resources and opportunities and won a spectacular victory. By the powerful people's movement led by the Telangana Rashtra Samiti and the People's Own KCR. The bill is 2nd June 2014, K. Chandrasekhar Rao takes oath as the first Chief Minister of a newly formed state. With it, he has delivered on his promise of giving the marginalized people of Telangana a new identity, a new hope and a new dawn. Now, Telangana needs to be reinvented. Telangana needs to be reoriented. But his government had inherited Telangana in grave distress. Severe drought, suicides by farmers and handloom weavers, no water for irrigation or drinking, migration of lakhs of people, endless power cuts, uncertain income and expenditure of the budget, and financial status in doldrums. The brand new state and its young government were being chased by a vicious cycle of endless problems. Every key sector needed reform and urgent action. In such dire situations, KCR dared to dream of a golden age for Telangana. Leading from the front with his futuristic vision and dynamic leadership, KCR shone a light to steer the state from rock bottom. From day one, India's youngest state was firing on all cylinders in multiple sectors at the same time to become India's most revolutionary success story. Telangana state has launched over 450 welfare schemes that leave no one behind. Asra or Helping Hand it is a pension scheme of 2016 rupees to senior citizens, single women and other vulnerable groups and 3016 rupees for disabled persons. Asra scheme releases them from deep financial distress to live a life of dignity. Telangana is the only state in India to launch the landmark two-bedroom housing scheme. The scheme will construct buildings with multi-stories, each housing two-bedroom residences to be allotted at 100% subsidy to the poor and needy. So far, over 3 lakh two-bedroom houses have been sanctioned at a cost of nearly 20,000 crore rupees. The Telangana government has embarked on a magnanimous journey to solve the issues and problems faced by the Dalits in the state with the introduction of Dalit Bandhu scheme. The scheme provides 10 lakh rupees non-refundable one-time grant to each and every Dalit family and reservations in sectors where government issues licenses, thereby instilling a sense of financial security and hope for a better future. Apart from monetary benefit, the government created a corpus as a safety net to support the beneficiary in the event of any adversity. With a special focus on inclusive development and capacity building of the SCST entrepreneurs, Telangana government's T-Pride, Telangana State Program for Rapid Incubation of Dalit Entrepreneurs, extends various incentives to the SCST entrepreneurs. 
in a very special move to prevent child marriages and to alleviate the financial burden of girl families the chief minister announced the kalyana lakshmi and shaadi mubarak scheme a first of its kind initiative in india the scheme grants 1 lakh 116 rupees to families organizing weddings for their daughters till date this scheme has saved over 11 lakh families from debilitating debt and financial ruin across telangana first of its kind welfare schemes are innovated to uplift struggling communities including artisans and daily wage workers in small industries like beedi making incentives like sheep distribution drives for sheep rearing communities have won the hearts of the people in places like sirisella entire weaving communities have been brought back from the brink of crisis stories of upliftment are unfolding all across telangana on a grand scale under a leader who actually walks the talk a revolution in the drinking water sector mission bhagiratha this flagship program has been launched on a war footing so that every household in telangana is provided with a tap connection giving safe treated and abundant drinking water it is a grand network of pipelines in various sizes spanning over 2 lakh kilometers a staggering lens that can encircle the globe five times at an estimated cost of over 46000 crore rupees mission bhagiratha supplies 3000 million liters of safe drinking water every day to the entire state for the first time in the country telangana is the only state to provide its citizens with adequate safe drinking water to every household free of cost with mission bhagiratha history is made for the first time in india achieving 0% fluoride safe drinking water in the state telangana is now a role model to union governments jal jeevan mission as well as to the 11 state governments in the country main abhinandan karna chahta hu telangana ki sarkar ka ki ek bhi ghar aisa nahi hai jahan peene ka pani lene ke liye kisi garib ko maa ko aur beti ko bahar jana pade When Telangana's first government took charge it was reeling under an impossible power deficit in the newly formed state power supply was erratic disproportionate power supply and meager transmission capacity the chief minister took urgent action hundreds of substations of various capacities were built on a war footing state discoms were empowered these moves electrified the state Within 200 days of state formation, KCR fulfilled the promise of 24 hours uninterrupted quality power supply. Today, there are no power cuts in Telangana, and Telangana is the one and only Indian state which supplies 24/7 high quality power to all sectors. Within seven years, the installed power capacity has increased. from 7600 megawatts in 2014 to 17305 megawatts in 2021 and by 2023 telangana will increase its total power capacity to an impressive 25000 megawatts under kcr's visionary leadership this will be achieved with the completion of ultra mega power projects from 7600 megawatts to 25000 megawatts adding 18000 megawatts of power in the shorter span is the biggest achievement that had never happened in the history of the indian power sector telangana is leading the country in terms of per capita consumption of power this is a good indicator of the excellent growth in all sectors The KCR led government is also unstoppable in the renewable energy sector. Telangana is growing its solar capacity at breakneck speed. Its installed capacity of solar power has increased by 50 times in just 6 years 
from mere 70 megawatt in 2014 to 4478 megawatt in 2021. Today's Telangana is a shining example of futuristic power reforms for the entire nation. Before the state's formation, its irrigation sector was in a dismal state. After Telangana state formation in 2014, the government made bold moves to boost irrigation. In seven years, the total spend in irrigation sector has seen a stunning increase of a whopping 1,28,000 crore rupees. How did this happen? Leading from the front, the Chief Minister held brainstorming sessions to strategize the speedy completion of ongoing projects as well as the radical modernization of older projects. All these projects were getting new life. The government adopted a multi-pronged approach to drastically scale up the irrigation coverage, keeping the urgent needs of the state in mind. Audacious plans for redesigning and re-engineering of irrigation projects was carried out. Palamuru Ranga Reddy and Sita Rama lift irrigation projects, Devadula lift irrigation scheme, and Kaleshwaram lift irrigation scheme. Kaleshwaram multi stage lift irrigation scheme is the world's largest lift irrigation project. An innovatively designed massive project to lift Godavari waters from an elevation of 90 meters to 618 meters, reaching some of Telangana's most parched lands. Kaleshwaram multi-stage lift irrigation scheme is a mission impossible achieved by the Telangana government. With three barrages across Godavari River, 20 mega volume water lifts, 22 pump houses, 20 reservoirs and a network of tunnels, pipelines and canals, nearly 2,000 kilometers long, all completed in a record time of just 36 months. This project is going to cater 45 lakh acres and it will be giving water for two crops. So that means 90 lakh acres will be producing gold out of the land. Simultaneously, the government also launched Mission Kakatiya, bringing a novel solution from the 11th century Kakatiya dynasty into the 21st century to restore minor irrigation tanks and water bodies. A whopping 46,531 existing tanks lying in disuse were desilted and restored at a staggering investment of 22,000 crore rupees. Mission Kakatiya is designed to transform Telangana's groundwater levels, ensuring that water reaches every cultivable part of the state, that livestock is cared for, and the overall rural economy gets a boost. Thanks to the incredible focus on irrigation sector, the gross irrigation area of Telangana has increased by 119% from 2014 to 2021. Water once more gushes through Telangana's farmlands. It has even rippled through Telangana's fisheries, which have today achieved the status of number one inland fisheries in India. Telangana's dramatic agricultural turnaround has come thanks to sweeping innovative reforms that are designed not just to alleviate the farmer's distress, but make him strong enough to steer his own destiny. This has happened because of political willpower to fulfill promises, including all stakeholders as partners in brainstorming and planning schemes and a detailed and strategic execution of farm reforms that has never happened in the country before. Today in Telangana, farmlands of 5,000 acres each are covered under one designated cluster, supported by one agricultural extension officer under the Raitu Vedika scheme. With a total of 2,601 clusters, it is a novel concept for India. 
Rayatu Vedika is a bridge between farmers and agricultural extension officers. It provides smart solutions for finance, cultivation, husbandry and more, right to the farmer's doorstep. Rayatu Bima Scheme, a 100% premium insurance plan for any tragic and unforeseen eventuality. Rayatu Bandhu, a 100% investment input subsidy with 10,000 rupees non-refundable per acre for Rabi and Kharif. Telangana's Rayatu Bandhu became a role model for Government of India's PM Kisan Yojana. In the last seven years, the government has spent a whopping 50,448 crore rupees to enforce these reforms. Thanks to them, Telangana's farmer is now striding into the modern age. He is including innovative and scientific agricultural methods like micro-irrigation, drip irrigation, crop change patterns, greenhouses and polyhouses etc. into his practice. He is also introducing new crop varieties and mechanizing his farms. And the impact is transformative. Free power supply for agriculture 24-7, a nowhere in India achievement. Water supply for agriculture was provided without cess. Telangana is number one in cotton production. Over 35 lakh farmers had loans worth over 22,000 crore rupees waived off. In 2018, farmers' suicides in Telangana became zero for the first time in decades. The agricultural sector saw an eight-fold increase in production. The 15th Finance Commission hailed Telangana State as the second in digitization of soil records. For the first time in India, Telangana launched online certification of seeds. Today, Telangana's farmers are competing with Punjab for the number one position in paddy production. None of this could have been possible without a leadership that works tirelessly round the clock for the well-being of its people. One of the key areas Telangana has worked on in a mission mode is healthcare. Kanti Velugu, the world's largest eye screening camp, has already reached a population of 3.5 crores since 2018. From free eye screening and vision testing to free eyewear and surgery, create awareness about eye care and prevention of serious eye diseases. With the new medical colleges and the hospitals, there is a sweeping change in every neighborhood too. Basti Davakhanas are a network of primary healthcare centers that have come up to serve the urban poor. These are easy to access and free of cost. 350 Basti Davakhanas offer free consultation, medicines and a variety of diagnostic tests. Schemes like these reach the people quickly and efficiently thanks to a total upgrade in healthcare from top to bottom. The biggest beneficiaries have been Telangana's women. Amma Vodi scheme, having a total of 300 ambulances, provides free ambulance-driven diagnostic services for pregnant women. The ambulance picks them up, provides free tests and checkups at the hospital, and drops them back home. The Arugya Lakshmi scheme takes care of pregnant and lactating women as well as infants by preventing malnutrition and providing for complete nutritional needs. The program provides regular balanced meals and has reached over 19 lakh lactating mothers, over 5 lakh infants and over 25 lakh pregnant women. And that's not where it ends. Expectant mothers receive financial assistance to the tune of 12,000 rupees for a male child and 13,000 rupees for a girl child. Even after birth, the family is taken care of thanks to the KCR kit. A special care package of 16 essential health and nutritional items for all expectant mothers. This kit is precious to new parents especially those who don't have the means to purchase the items themselves. 
As a result of these interventions, today in Telangana, the total institutional deliveries are 98% and 100% immunization for infants, children and pregnant women. And the state also has best outcomes for maternal mortality rates and infant mortality rates. When public health care is delivered equitably, it raises the quality of life for the whole society. Telangana is a national leader when it comes to providing for its next generation. It's making sure their future is bright. Let each child have the benefit of quality education from primary level to higher education. This promise is delivered through sweeping reforms of the school system, especially at the grassroots. When the state was formed in 2014, Telangana only had 300 residential schools. By 2021, it had established nearly 1,000 residential educational institutions. A three-fold increase that no other state has been able to achieve in such a short span. Manauru Manabadi program is a game changer. With an allocated budget of over 7,200 crore rupees, it will benefit nearly 20 lakh students across 26,000 schools in rural and urban Telangana, which will be digitized and brought to international standards. Today, Telangana tops the country in the residential educational system Avasya Vidya with a total budget of over 6,000 crore rupees per annum, spending 1,25,000 rupees on each student yearly. This will benefit over 5 lakh students with excellent education. The state also offers a scholarship of 20 lakh rupees per beneficiary to pursue higher studies overseas. By bringing government schools up to standard, students can now compete with and surpass those in expensive private schools. The results are clear to all. Telangana schools have seen a drastic reduction in dropout rates. Armed with quality education, Telangana's talented Gen Next can reach for the stars. But talent without opportunity has nowhere to grow. That's why Telangana is steering dynamic growth in industry and business. Ease of business, a simple statement that backs a punch. In Telangana, it is more than a mere slogan on a poster. It brings in investment and sparks the spirit of entrepreneurship. Invigorating this space are the Telangana State Industrial Policy, TSI Pass and TSB Pass, the Dharani Portal, designed for minimum inspection and maximum facilitation. TSI Pass is a lightning fast approval process by which permissions are granted within 15 days. Today, Telangana boasts of an enviable 20,000 industries which have been accorded approvals through Telangana State Industrial Policy. Come to Telangana, invest in Telangana, let us grow together. Together, they have made Telangana flush with an investment of over 2,32,000 crore rupees in just seven years. Not surprising then, that international giants and multinational corporations, especially in IT, are turning to Telangana and Hyderabad. Hyderabad is fast becoming a preferred destination for startups. Today, it's home to over 6,600 startups, some of them close to receiving a billion dollar valuation or unicorn status. With 14% growth, IT exports are over 1.5 lakh crore rupees in 2021-22. But the Telangana government has set its sights even higher. It is aiming at 3 lakh crores in the next three years. Genome Valley in Hyderabad 
is the vaccine capital of the world. 33% of global vaccines are produced in the Genome Valley. And soon, a world's largest pharma city for R&D and manufacturing is coming up in Hyderabad. It is expected to attract an investment worth 9.7 billion US dollars and create employment for an estimated 5,60,000 people. This progress is not just in big cities, but in every village of Telangana. It is a rural development unlike any other state in India. Thanks to a Telangana leadership that places village infrastructure development at the very heart. In Telangana, there are 12,769 village panchayats and each village panchayat is a model, Palle Pragati, to improve the quality of life in the rural areas. Palle Prakriti Vanam, each village has pristine landscape parks, which include eco parks and open gyms. Palle Davakhana, each village has quality primary health care centers, pakka houses and streets with proper lighting. Every village has a nursery to increase the green cover. Every village has a tractor for village development works as well as garbage collection. Integrated markets for all the daily needs. Every village has state-of-the-art crematoriums and funeral services. By Kunta Dhamam. In just seven short years, Telangana's villages have turned the tide, having all the amenities of first time in any state in India. Telangana's Harita Haram, the largest plantation and reforestation drive in India, third only to Brazil and China in the world. It is a mega push to cover the map with a blanket of green from 24% to 33% forested area. A whopping 242 crore seedlings are already planted across the state. The drive will involve the people of the state by creating nurseries at the village level to steer this 21st century green revolution. By harnessing the participation of the common man, Harita Haram has delivered a strong message. The government will take a lead in fighting climate change. Cities like Hyderabad are not only the land of opportunity, but cities with an excellent standard of life and liberty. Telangana has accelerated urban development by an influx of 7,000 crore rupees for roads and bridges. 10% of its municipal budget is reserved as green budget. Today, Telangana can proudly claim to have some of the most state-of-the-art law and order infrastructure in place. She teams Alert, modern and high-tech police systems geared especially towards the safety of women. New fleets of police vehicles are equipped with state-of-the-art devices. Monthly police station maintenance funds to each police station and 30% additional pay to traffic police as a risk allowance, a first in the country. High-tech world-class police command control center the state government has knitted a grand Telangana cultural and spiritual canvas, strengthening the social fabric with its diverse cultures and celebrating festivals of all faiths. As one of the major state festivals, Batukamma is a floral festival celebrated by the women of Telangana on a grand scale across the globe. In Yadadri, Telangana, a world's unique temple of Sri Lakshmi Narasimha Swami is newly reconstructed as a center of mega spirituality. The pink wave has touched every life. 
it has transformed Telangana in just seven years, giving the rest of India a model to aspire to. In seven years, India's younger state has proven that effective governance is the only path to progress. Empowering schemes and people-friendly administration have proved to be a winning combination. Telangana's per capita income has more than doubled from 1.24 lakh rupees in 2014-15 to 2.78 lakh rupees in 2021-22. Gross domestic product of Telangana, GSDP, has increased by 128% from 5.06 lakh crore rupees in 2014-15 to 11.55 lakh crore rupees in 2021-22. Today, Telangana's strides are being hailed by all from both sides of the political aisle. Government of India's Niti Aayog and Reserve Bank of India have acknowledged Telangana as a top economic performer. Telangana is India's top performing state in UN Sustainable Development Goals. Seven Telangana villages were awarded in India's top 10 Sansad Adarsh Gramin Yojana and the state received national awards by the Ministry of Rural Development Government of India for 19 Telangana villages. In just seven years, Telangana has shown the country and the world an innovative model for development. Telangana's rise is like a phoenix. From one of India's most deprived states to top performer on the national stage. It is an undeniable model for the rest of India. The kind of development we dream of is no longer a distant one. Have the courage to aspire. Together we can and we will make it happen.